Good morning. Today I want us to look in 2 Samuel chapter 6. This is the story where the Ark of the Covenant, which represents the presence of God to the children of Israel, had been captured by the Philistines and it was held by them for several months. And David decided it was time to bring it to Jerusalem. So David goes and he gets it away from them and he's bringing it back. And he takes the Ark of the Covenant and he puts it on a cart pulled by oxen. That's not the way God intended for it to be done. So David did not seek God's direction before he wanted to bring the Ark of the Covenant to Jerusalem. So as they were riding along, the, the, the uh, oxen stumbled and a guy by the name of Uzzah put his hand on the Ark and when he did he died. So it says down here in verse 10, So David would not move the ark of the Lord with him into the city of David. But David took it aside to the house of Obed-Edom. In verse 9 it said, David was afraid of the Lord that day. What we find in this is first that God, David's purpose was good and right. But David, the second thing we found out, David did not know that he had the wrong method. Third, David trusted his own efforts and he failed. David did not seek out the Lord to find out the proper way. And then David got mad because God killed some folks and David did not like that. So everything went wrong. David's had his pride was wounded. He had failed to do something for God. He was not concerned for the Lord, but he was concerned about his own recognition. You see, it's easy to get mad at God when things don't go our way. People have expectations that when not realized, we get angry and upset. So, David decided it was not time to take the ark, so he left the ark at the home of Obed-Edom. While the ark was there, God mightily blessed the home and the family of Obed-Edom because they were serving the Lord, trusting God, and God was blessing them. So what we need to realize is that in the presence of God there are blessings, and we need to stop trying to do things in our own way. And in this day and age with all that's going on around us, we need to trust God and trust the folks who know what's going on to share the truth with us, and that we, by loving God, share that love with others, and we read His Word and to be obedient to it. Thank you.